Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. It is coffee time. Hopefully you're glad to be here. I am too, because we're going to try something that I've been on my radar, but I've never think I've ever had before. So uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Uh, this is a coffee that's readily available everywhere, I think. And the reason I say I don't know if I've had it or not, um, it could very well be restaurant coffee. Um, besides, you know, Folgers, Maxwell House, Community. Those are the three biggest ones. But Pete's may also be a um, coffee restaurant thing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, because this is widely available, kind of like a Starbucks. I think it's a, um, uh, might even be a chain like Starbucks. I don't know. Um, what I do know is Pete's is a Central American coffee. It's a mix of um, Nicaraguan, Honduras, Guatemalan, and El Salvadoran uh, beans. Um, they're all Arabica, 100% Arabica beans. Uh, this one is a dark roast, 100%, sorry, dark roast house blend, 100% Arabica. And it is um, relatively inexpensive. I got this one for like two bucks on the discount at Walmart, but this is uh, $10 uh, coffee, $10 coffee. And so this is my very first cup I've ever had. I tend to put um, more beans in my coffee then I should because I like a dark roast. This is dark roast. And so I did my normal thing, but that's kind of a see-through coffee. I don't know how well you can see it, but I don't know. I guess I need more um, grind in there. Oh, this is a very um, fine grind for a bagged pre-ground coffee. It's not like uh, mocha pot coffee, but it's, it's a lot finer than uh, I've seen before. <clears throat> so it's got some earthy kind of, um, I don't know, it's earthy tones, it's dirt, nutty, and hints of that chocolate, it's kind of your basic everyday coffee. It smells good. I mean, this when I say your basic everyday coffee, that's what you're looking for is a good coffee that stands up to everybody else. Rich and full, a little bit on the bitter side. It's got a funky um, kind of woody, almost plasticky taste to it. It's not bad. Um, I don't think I'd drink it straight like I am now. I, I would have to use this as an evening coffee with a little bit of creamer. Now this is our house blend. They have other things like uh, Italian blend and um, I think a blonde. They get quite a few. Yeah, it's it's got some weird kind of a plasticky um, mocha flavor to it. But the more you drink it, the more you get used to it. So, you know, it's like going from Coke to Pepsi, you know, and then back. Like you're going Coke and you try Pepsi, you can't stand it, you go back to Coke and you're like, I can't stand it, but it used to be my favorite and then suddenly you like it. It just takes some getting used to. I don't know. Um, we'll see how my friends think. I'm going to take it to work and put it on the coffee bar at work. I might take a picture and insert it. I don't know. We'll see um, about what the coffee bar at work looks like. But tell us what you think about Pete's. Um, like I say, it's readily available um, pretty much every grocery store. So tell us what you think. And again, this is the dark roast house blend. So uh, if you're if you have that at home, definitely leave some comments below. Would this be a coffee that I would um, pick up? No. I think uh, mainstream I'd pick up Folgers first, probably Maxwell House. Uh, I even think I like the Starbucks a little bit better than this. It's probably on par with Community um, or 8 o'clock. 
but um, there's so much better coffee out there. It's not bad. I might have to try some of their other blends. We'll see. But tell us what you think. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all of our merchandise. And don't forget to check out tomorrow's video uh, on uh, whiskey and then Fridays on a cocktail. We do have a challenge this week. Um, it'll come out on Friday, so make sure you watch that Friday episode. Um, we do have a challenge towards the end, so um, I think it'll be great if we can meet that challenge because it'll make Cody miserable. <laughs> Cheers. See you tomorrow. Oh, have a great Wednesday.